Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we have a beer that is uh, not a craft beer. It's from one of the four major beer companies, uh, Asahi, Kirin, Sapporo, and Suntory. And this one is, in fact, from Asahi. It is called Asahi Super Dry Shunrei Karakuchi. It's a, uh, classified as a pale lager, international premium pale lager. Um, and it's one of the varieties of Asahi Super Dry, which uh, uh, is the Asahi Super Dry, the basic one, is the flagship beer of Asahi Brewing and it has been the most popular all malt beer in Japan for a number of years. Uh, they just recently tweaked the recipe for the first time in, I think, 30, 32 years, something like that. Uh, and uh, so it's a very popular beer, all malt beer. Uh, these days, uh, all malt beers are decreasing in uh, popularity because of the price, the uh, tax differences. Uh, uh, lower malt beers have a lower tax base. They're changing that gradually. The tax is going to be unified on different styles of uh, beer. Uh, and so eventually all malt beer will be the same as low malt or no malt beer. Uh, and, and there are a lot of no malt beers here too. Um, so this is an uh, international premium uh, pale lager and uh, on rate beer it has uh, only 12 ratings. Uh, it's not one, you don't see this in the market all the time. It's uh, one of the uh, less visible varieties of super dry. Um, and so 12 ratings and the average is 2.77 out of 5, not terribly high. And on Untapped, there were 1,008 ratings when I looked, and the average was a little bit higher, 2.9, not much. Um, so they made this uh, uh, in the past. In the previous version, which was uh, in 2019, was 5.5%. This is 5%. Uh, the ingredients include uh, malt, both uh, uh, imported and domestic malt, uh, hops, rice, corn and starch and so uh, asahi often lightens up their beers with uh, both corn and starch and the starch is corn starch as well so let's give this a go rice corn and starch the whole idea of this is to give a very dry taste uh you know without any or as little residual sugar as possible Okay, and what do we have here? It is completely crystal clear, uh, medium, medium light gold straw with a half a finger of kind of frothy white foam. Okay, you can see the carbonation rising there. And the aroma has just a touch of pale malt, very pale. Maybe a little bit of grassiness. That's about it. Flavors have grain, just a little bit of, a tiny bit of fruitiness, maybe, I would say not even stone fruit, maybe uh, stone fruit peels or something like that. A small hint of citrus, maybe very small bitterness in the back end. Um, there's some light sweetness in mid palate, but it, uh, it goes away. And the finish is relatively dry. Not quite as dry as uh, the regular super dry, but uh, fairly, fairly dry, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is drinkable. It's not uh, the most pleasant uh, lager you're gonna find around, but it's it's okay. Uh, and I, I, I would say give it a go if you happen to see it, if you've never had it. Uh, I don't think you'll be impressed. Uh, but in any case, you will have had the experience. Uh, so once again, this is called Asahi Super Dry Shunrei Karakuchi, a pale lager international premium from Asahi Breweries Limited, and it's a 5 percenter. Uh, give it a go. Let me know what you think, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do have a playlist of Asahi beers, and I think I have a playlist of Super Dry as well. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll check that. Uh, anyway, you can watch the rest uh, if you'd like, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Okay, bye-bye.